Okay, so um, now we have a cylindrical part and most of you should be familiar with the different types of slice planes, but there's a new one here called slice cylinder, right? And that actually will slice through um, um, the axis of your, of your part, right? So you need a coordinate system that's um, uh, not the ZX plane that's going to be perpendicular or axial um, so that you can, you know, get these slots here. Right, but then now what you can do is just select um, the the boundaries of the slot that you're trying to machine and create um, uh, an operation that way. Now, before what you would have had to do is extract this face, and then you would have to unwrap the geometry and use that geometry to mill, and then you would rewrap the toolpath so that you get the toolpath wrapped around your part. Um, now all you have to do is use the slice cylinder and it knows that you're going to be wrapping the geometry and um, and you can make that. So I'm going to go real quick into the process here, but it's um, basically the same. The only thing to keep in mind is that these are all radial values now, right? So a radius of 3, a radius of 2.5 um, is where we're starting the top of our cut, right? Because it's all being wrapped. Uh, but other than that, there's nothing new that you need to do um, in this box. You can, you know, almost just treat it like a um, like a, a regular pocket. Um, and let me show you that here in, in OpSim real quick. Cool. Pretty easy, right? Um, and you might be wondering if uh, these new operations work with volume mill, and I'm happy to say that um, both of the, the new milling operations that I, I showed you today will work with volume mill here. So you can see operation two, it is doing its normal volume mill thing of like helixing in and then, you know, getting a crazy toolpath everywhere else. Um, but uh, the other option, do not plunge, that also works with volume mill. So so that's good. Um, but yeah, that's about it for what I what we've added in 2023 regarding milling. While the spiral boring option saves your tool life, all of these features allow users to save a couple steps in their programming process. I hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation, and I'll see you in the next video.